Is there someone pushing you to leave your comfort zone? Encouraging you to get out of your box or, like Peter, to get out of the boat? Stretch your wings? Expand your horizons? Is that someone God? Nine of us at Raleigh Court United Methodist Church answered that call this summer. We journeyed over 1,500 miles to San Juan, Puerto Rico to help with Hurricane Maria recovery. Why did we go that far? Because there were, and still are, people in need, and God blessed us with the resources and ability to go. Jesus told Peter, take care of my sheep, in John chapter 21, verse 16. Each of us had our own concerns and worries. Can I do the work? Will we have electricity? Where will I sleep? I don't speak Spanish. How will I do in the heat? Will there be bottled water? And just how big are those mosquitoes? But one of the big lessons God taught us during the trip is he provides. For us, God provided beds with mattresses, fans and air conditioners for the bedrooms, a fun, hardworking interpreter in Gregory, Sylvia, who happily and lovingly provided our meals, including gluten-free and hot sauce, the wonderfully hospitable people of IMLA, plenty of bottled water, a worksite with electricity and fans, an ice cream store right down from the church, tools and supplies to get the work done, extra help when we needed it, a spirit of camaraderie and cooperation between us, temperatures in the mid-80s instead of higher, a weed eater, a delightful and appreciative homeowner and his sister and brother-in-law who brought us lunch twice, very few bugs, safety at the work site and in all of our travels, a sense of humor, working cell phone service, a team with skills and abilities that complemented each other. Was it hot? Yes. Was it demanding work in less than ideal conditions? Yes. Did we sleep wonderfully every night? No, but we followed where God led us and we were able to build a railing for the steps, install wall and ceiling panels, and paint everything that didn't move. And what wonderful progress we made in getting Dennis's house and life closer to normal. We were just one small part in God's plan to help Dennis and Puerto Rico, but none of us will ever forget the experience.